Hi, my name is Fallon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here are some frugal tips that maybe you haven't tried. There are a lot of people out there, especially on Instagram, that are very good at getting coupon deals. Like they can get really good with stacking the digital deals along with coupons and along with certain sales circulars. I used to dabble in that a little bit, but now I just don't have time for that. And so what I do now is I actually buy from the ones that are selling from their stockpiles. I know it's a little bit sketchy in some ways. I mean, I probably wouldn't be buying um, products that could be open or tampered with. Like you may not want to buy like um, sacks of rice or anything like that, but maybe you don't mind buying canned goods or maybe you don't mind buying things that are kind of like vacuum sealed that are dry goods and stuff. But I've gotten quite a few deals and I'm gonna start a couple pictures of them now. I would actually buy different packages from some of these women locally and they could be any mixture of laundry soap. Sometimes I would have Dove. Sometimes I would buy like a mixed package with laundry soap, maybe some Dove soap, maybe toilet paper, paper towels, all mixed into one. For example, I never catch things like Dove or I catch like my favorite shampoos or like the Shea Moisture for my hair. I never really catch them on sale. Like uh, some people are just really good at stacking the deals, going to Target and getting like $5 gift cards. Um, and being able to reverse and do things in the same trip are really good at getting extra bucks at CVS and stuff. I don't got those mad skills anymore. And so now I just buy from others and it's been really good for me to help build up my own stockpile at a really good price. Buying food wholesale is a really good way to get really good deals on bulk food items. I'm not talking about like Costco or like... Um, Smart and final, I'm talking about like restaurant wholesale, like say it's a marketplace full of like herbs and um, potatoes and meats and things like that, or either um, they let you buy items wholesale like cases of Gatorade, cases of water, similar things like that. Um, or say if you're buying in bulk, like as if you owned like a liquor store or anything like that. Now, this isn't my own idea. I can't take credit for it. it actually, a friend of mine actually started buying cases of things through someone else that has um, a wholesaler's license, but I think any idea where you can buy something wholesale is really good. The same thing goes for clothing. Instead of going to like a T-Mart to buy tons of socks, um, wife beaters, um, uh, medical uniforms, all those different types of clothing items that maybe um, get worn out very fast or whether it's underwear or anything like that. I think those are really good reasons to have some type of wholesale license or whatever in your county or in, or in your areas because still even though you're getting a deal buying something in bulk at like um, some specialty stores nothing's gonna beat what actual people get that own these stores like say they get like a deal from a manufacturer or directly from a company just like how people when they buy things at a small piece rate from Alibaba or something like that and so if you could find anywhere in your community where you could buy something at wholesale price it's gonna be anything that you can buy out of a regular store unless it's like something super clearance and you're really watching like a hawk because that's the problem with me that's why I use these frugal tips because I can't really um, search up every little detail or I'm not in the stores often enough so if I know a friend of mine is going to like a wholesale market and they're about to buy a sack of potatoes i try to say okay if you buy a sack of potatoes can i buy half from you it kind of piggybacks off of buying out of people's stockpiles but in a different way um i think those are um, really smart ways of like saving some money one other frugal thing that i do is um if you have like a friend that is buying meat from like um they're getting a whole cow are they um, buying chicken or eggs from like a farmer and stuff and you're getting super fresh organic meat and you have a really good farm if you um, can find a really good farm connection um, then you can buy meat from them. I kind of buy a lot of things under the table just because um, I do provide a lot for people that are in need whether it's um, the foster children that I'm taking care of or sometimes when I'm doing caregiving for like the elderly there's a lot of our special needs individuals there's a lot of things that they might need or they might not be able to physically go to the store for and so if I know I can get it at a cheaper price and really save them and someone that's on a fixed income I think those are really good um, ways that you can save money for yourself but also help someone else one thing you can do for beauty products is you can shop other places that aren't so popular for maybe that item that you really desire like I really 
enjoy the Laneige lip mask in the pink jar. And I noticed that at walmart.com, it's cheaper because they sell them in packs of four rather than buying like just one at Ulta or one at JCPenney. And so really it's thinking outside the box when it comes to trying to save money. And so I would advise anyone who's really trying to scale back maybe to figure out what is that thing that you complain about the most <laughs> costing too much? And that's where you find that under um, that cheap way of buying it. And for me, saving money or being frugal is all about strategy and finding a workaround, all those things that are really a need for your family, a need for you and finding a way to get it cheaper under the table, whatever you have to do. And just like how everybody does the basics, they're buying winter clothes in the summer and summer clothes in the winter. Same thing with decorations for certain times of the year. You know, all those different strategies. I mean, I know they're annoying, but after you start saving in, a long, in the long run, you get used to it and it becomes like second nature. You can actually spot out a good deal from a distance or kind of know when it's time to start shopping for things that particularly, you know, your family's going to need or that you can stock up on. Thank you for watching and I hope that some of these frugal tips helped because I implement them in my own life and especially when I get in a pinch. I know a lot of people out there are feeling a pinch in their finances and if you are, I'm very sorry and I hope that some of this helps you and thanks again. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.